get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing my makeup and just telling y'all all the exciting stuff that <laughs> has been happening in this apartment. It's not nothing too crazy to be honest. Okay, so basically before moving in here, I was looking for apartments, right? And my boss was like, did I find a place? And I was like, yeah, I'm moving in this Friday. Yada, yada, yada. He's like, oh, where is it at? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, it's on this area. I think it's called yada, yada, yada. And he's like, wait, does it have this building? And and that place and this and I'm like yeah and he's like I used to live there I'm like oh okay how did you like it <laughs> and he was going on about how he hated it how there were just so many problems the elevator was always broken there was break-ins the building uh, was built so fast that like there was a lot of issues that were happening and he broke his lease <laughs> And he was like warning, he's like, you need to get out of that lease before you move in. You need to just find something else. Like, trust me, trust me, find something else. I was like, I already got my renter's insurance figured out. I did all these stuff already. And he was like, it's fine. I could just transfer it out. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It's just, I moved in this Friday. It's, I can't, I can't cancel the lease. It's just, it's one week away. I have no other place to live if I cancel the lease. <laughs> so I talked to Nick about it and I was like, how bad could it be? And Nick and I was talking about it and we're like, well, technically my boss is very bougie. <laughs> and Nick and I grew up like a very poor. <laughs> and so we have seen the worst. And so it can't be as worse how we grew up. Like we grew up in apartments that didn't even have an elevator, didn't have a swimming pool, didn't have a gym. It was all stairs. There was a lot of houseless people around. There was not even security. It wasn't even a gated community. Break-ins happened a lot. And so I was basically like saying it can't be that bad and so the next day I went back to the work and my boss like so y'all canceled it and i was like no we decided not to because it can't be that bad we're, we're gonna stick it out and <laughs> fyi you're really high maintenance with your lifestyle and i'm really not that high maintenance he said okay that's fine and so nick and i moved in i can't be doing this and talk i can't be doing my makeup and talk i'm about to finish my story and i'm not even done with my makeup yet so basically the first day moving in, thank gosh it wasn't our building, but it was the other building. Their elevator was out. <laughs> And I was like, oh, thank gosh we didn't move into that building because that was our original building that we were going to move into. But then uh, I switched us. And so thank gosh we didn't move into that building because then move-in day would have been horrible, that's for sure. So that was um, number one. <laughs> and then number two, literally like three days in, the fire alarm was like going off. Like Nick and I usually go to sleep around nine and around like 11.30, the fire alarm went off and me and him woke up still in the days and majority of the time when the fire goes off all we do is just fan the smoke alarm and it dies down that's what we usually do because i woke up and i was trying to push him like just fan the smoke alarm it'll turn off it'll turn off thinking that it was just a smoke alarm in our unit that was going off and he was just not doing it because he was still like slowly waking up so i woke up and i was fanning it it wouldn't stop for some reason nick stepped out of the bedroom I'm like okay i don't know where he's going so i'm just gonna fan the smoke alarm and then nick come in like in a panic he was like we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go and i'm like where are we going where are we going like i was like half naked like i sleep in just my underwear and so i was like oh okay 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 he's like hurry up we gotta go and i'm like I just, I just, in a panic i was like trying to put on sweatpants trying to try to throw on like a jacket and he's like grab your phone grab my phone i don't know where my phone is i don't know where my phone is literally we were running out of the apartment we live on like the fourth floor so we were like running out of the apartment hold on i can't do this and talk so hold on and so like literally i got dressed and we ran out of the apartment like somebody was chasing us like down four flights of stairs exit the building and it was raining outside too thank god she had his car key so we went and sat in the car there's only like a few people that came out of the building not even a lot of people came out and i was just like okay were we like exaggerating i'm so confused and then the fire truck came went into the building
building, came back out after 20 minutes, and then everybody started walking back into the building. And then while we were passing the firefighters, they were talking to security, like, hey, do you got camera? So Nick and I assumed someone just pulled the fire alarm. And so we went back upstairs, and the first thing that came across my head was, what if somebody purposely pulled the fire alarm to, like, rob apartments? Because when you leave in a panic, you're not locking your doors. You're out and gone. And so I made Nick check the whole apartment behind closets and all bathrooms and cabinets, making sure no one was hiding before we came in. I was like low-key kind of paranoid for the rest of the night. When I was sitting in Nick's car, like the only thing I could think of was I really had nothing on me. I literally just had my clothes and that was it. Had no phone, no keys, and no wallet. And thank gosh Nick had his phone and his keys, but like I grabbed nothing. I don't know, now it really put me in a panic mode. Like I really need an emergency go bag because how am I gonna contact somebody obviously I could always you know go ask use a phone and whatnot but like do we really remember anybody's phone numbers nowadays thank gosh I have Nick's phone number memorized but like imagine not having any IDs on you and you need money and cash and I told this story to my boss and I was like you're not allowed to say I told you so and he's like okay okay <laughs> I mean, the building is fine. I don't mind it at all. There's nothing wrong with management or anything. We're completely fine and safe and no break-ins are happening. There's security that roams around. It's a gated building, so no one's coming in and out like that. So we are in a very safe place. Whatever my boss experienced was a couple years back, so. But yeah, I don't know how exciting that story was, but I just wanted to share of oh, that experience. Girl, Growing up, you know, we always did like fire drills at like school and stuff like that, but never at like my safe space of like my home. And so that really scared me. And I still think about it to this day. If you <laughs> have not noticed, your girl is still thinking about it for sure. And yeah, and when that happened, um, I thought about like, oh, like what if we had kids, you know, like how scary that would be or like what if my parents were over and they're elderly and you know we had to run down the stairs and obviously you know they can't run that fast like how that's gonna look just going down four flights of stairs it's just yeah it was a lot of scary thoughts to be thinking about but yeah on another note uh I got back out in Noen, Altrino specifically, and I am loving it. It's been a full week of using Altrino. I definitely feel some flaking coming in, but not as bad as what I was encountering with the regular Tretinoin going through those online services. Like, my peeling is very minimized. Maybe that's because it's only been a week of me starting it, but I already love it so much better. It's um, way more gentler on my face face even though it's the same percentage i might low-key prepare myself for the flakiness mentally Ooh, pretty bring it up to my temples i have so many baby hairs that are all over my face right now oh pretty okay so that is the contour pretty i think pretty <laughs> convincing myself pretty yeah very pretty it looks blotchy right here. Okay, let me just use my finger to like fix this little blotch spot. I don't like it. Ugh. This is what happens when I talk and try to do my makeup. When I think I can multitask and I clearly can't. Because now my makeup looks horrible. Mm. Mm, I'm stressed. I'm going to have to wash my face and redo my makeup. Off camera. Off camera. Thank gosh. I have a lot of time. Yeah, I still got a good two hours to go. So, let's redo my base. <laughs> All right, the makeup is fixed. I redid everything, <laughs> which is fine. I had the time. But I'm doing my makeup because Nick and I have something special that we're doing today. I'm not going to share it yet. I just need some time to keep it to myself and enjoy it. Y'all will know very soon. Uh, but yeah, I will talk to y'all in the next one. Thank you for joining me on this hot mess of me trying to do my makeup and talk at the same time. Your girl cannot multitask. That's for sure. But okay, bye.